Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. So you guys are new to the Adobe InDesign but you don't know how to make only one page of the document either as portrait or landscape. I know, I know, I know, I know the feeling and the frustration of all the designers and editors that they have to go through. Oh my god, my clients say it, make it portrait, so I have to make all the pages portrait. Oh no, I hate my client. He says that page number 23 should be portrait and all of your document is in landscape or all of your document is in portrait and the client says that page number 17 should be landscape. And you guys are confused, oh my god, what to do? Okay, I have a solution for you, stick to me, here we go. First of all, if you guys want to download this document, I have included the Word document link in the description. You can download the Word document from the description and import the Word document into Adobe InDesign and follow the tutorials and let's get started with portrait and landscape. So as you guys can see that I have this full document around 26 pages and right now my current page is on chapter 1 introduction. So when you guys are editing any document, you must know which page should be landscape and which page should be portrait. For example for me, I want to make one page that should be landscape that contains a table and in this full document my first table lies in the chapter 2 literature review. So let's scroll down to chapter 2 literature review and you can see that I have the table right over here. But I want this table to fit in one page. I want to shift this table to the next page. So let's click on the text box and press enter until the table goes to the next page. And when you see this uh, chapter 2.2, you can bring this down to the next page by pressing enter once again. Alright, we are ready to go and make this page landscape. But can you see the lines are crossing the margins? Let's place these uh, text box inside the margins. If you guys are interested in learning what is the purpose of using margins in Adobe InDesign, there is a separate tutorial. I have placed the card at the top of this video. You can go and check it out if you are interested to learn why we use margins in Adobe InDesign. Now they are placed exactly under the margins. It's time to make it landscape. The simple way to change only one page as a portrait or a landscape is very easy. You have to go to the pages which lies on the right side of your screen. If you don't find the pages, you can go to the windows and go to pages. So when you open a pages panel, you will see these options. There's one page at the top and it is named none. And there are two pages at the bottom which are renamed as A Master. And what is A Master? I have made a separate tutorial to explain what is A Master. I have placed the card at the top of this video. You can go and check that out if you are interested to know about what is Masters. Now, I am interested in creating a landscape page for this document. And for that, I need to make a new master. To create a new master, go to the pages panel. Click anywhere you want, even at the A master or either at the none. I'm going to click at the none, right click on the none, select new master, new window will appear on your screen which will show you all the options about your new master. There is a prefix option, there is an orientation option, there is a size option. Prefix is like an abbreviation, you cannot write a full name, you can write a short form for your pages, orientation. You can rename the prefix anytime you want. For now, I want to rename the prefix as LS, which is landscape. And I don't want two pages, I only want one page and orientation should be landscape. Here we go, we are in LS master and you can see the page is landscape. Okay, so now you have created the landscape page. Notice that the page number is missing from this page. All you have to do is go to the A master. Copy the page number and paste it on the LS master. 
and yes, it will not affect the flow of the page numbers in the whole document. Now let's go to the chapter number 2, the literature review and the table number 1. So it lies on the page number 17. Go to the page number 17. Drag the LS master and drop it on the page number 17. You will have these options. Page number 17 has a custom page size. This page can retain its current size or can be resized to match the new master. Okay, so let's suppose if you choose the keep current page size, the orientation of this current page will remain unchanged. So you must make sure that only current page orientation is changed rather than the whole document. So let's grab that LS master back to the page number 17 and select use master page size. Here we go. The page number 17 has turned into the landscape. The best part of using this technique is that only one page is affected and all other pages are not affected at all. So let's resize this text box and place it inside the margins so that it fits well. Let's resize it right over there. Let's go to the bottom, bring it to the top, under the margins, here we go. Now our page is fixed. There are some sentences in this table that needs two lines to fit the table. Most of the lines are fitting in one line. We want to make all the sentences to lie within one line. Now can you look at these rows? The size of these rows are not exactly same as some are larger. The third row is larger than the second row and the second row is larger than the first row. So I want to resize all these rows to exactly the same size. All you have to do is select all these rows, go to the tables and you will have these options 0.125 but we are not concerned with that. We are concerned with vertical size. So let's choose exactly I think 1.5625 should be good and let's align them central. Alright, this looks cool and the size of all these rows are exactly 1.5625 inch, which is pretty good. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you, but before I conclude this tutorial, I want to show you guys that changing the orientation of this page from landscape back to the portrait, it's very simple way. You can apply the same technique which I used before. All you have to do, grab the A master page and drop it to the page number 17. You will have the same options and use master page size and you will have this portrait page once again. But I don't want this page to be portrait so I will press Ctrl Z. But can you see this page number uh, 16 does not have a page number. All you have to do is grab the M master and drop it on the page number 16. Done. And you can see the page number 16, page number 17. Everything is aligned well. Let's save the document. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If you guys have any problem in any other software, whether it's Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, After Effects, Premiere Pro, my channel has all those tutorials that can help you build your skills. So please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any future updates. See you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Have a nice day.